there are there are many files. Let's say we, we can't say it's a GIF file. We could replace uh, we could replace the content type field uh, in the verb suite in here. And sometimes if the if the backend web application doesn't check it properly and trust our content type field, it will pass it. You know, it will bypass the restriction based on the content file. Okay. But let's let's even move further. Let's say, let's say on the back end, there is something I'm just simulating it. It's not it's exactly quite similar to this one, but let's say there is a tool called empty tool that reads the metadata and headers to see what is the uh, what is the file that we are dealing with. Let's say language.php. It shows the file type and file, uh, file type extension, mine type, the one that is uh, being used. So, uh, what if what if we can? Uh, what if there is a checking system? How can we bypass it? There, there is a there is a great concept called magic byte. Magic byte. What magic byte does is that by adding a few few uh, ca a few characters and headers, the the mind type and everything will, will be shown differently. So meaning, uh, let me show you, uh, let me provide you an example of it. Uh, okay, if, if you Google it, you, can, you could see the, uh, the magic numbers of magic bytes. Whenever you this at the beginning of your file, the, the tools that, that are being used to detect whether uh, what, what is the mind type, what is the file type, can, can be balanced. Let's say we are looking for this file. If we add this, this, uh, this particular string, we say language.php, we added this one, file language with PHP. Now, even though the extension is PHP, the file type is uh, considered GIF image data. 